I think we're in the in-between where this part doesn't actually make it to the YouTube video, so I can say whatever I want. What are you going to do? But there we go. We are in the finals. Ur no, that was terrible. Let's try that again. All right, guys. We have Ursus and Ron Wiz in the finals. Going back to the basics. Let's go to main screen. The classic. Dark Moth and XYZ Union Rivalry. We've seen these two in finals a lot. We haven't seen them in finals recently. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of newcomers that have done well. Uh, but now, Ursus has gravitated back towards XYZ Unions after playing, like, King of the Skull Servants, Apprentice Monarch Burn, and all that stuff. Oh, hey, Toxin, yeah, welcome. Yeah, you did not make it out in the finals. Or you did not miss out. But uh, we had 11 entrants today. $55 pot. Good to see another double-digit entrant here in January as this meta is just bone dry and we're waiting for GX. I did pop the Jaden Yuki on the Speed Duel logo now for the showdown uh, header up there. Anticipating GX. But for now, we're going to play a little Dark Moth, a little XYZ. We're still going on, still going strong. Showdowns all the way into GX and then some. Start with the Kaiku. And uh, we did have a Book of Moon on. I think that was a Breaker summon from Ursus. No, no, not a Breaker. Ursus is playing <laughs> XYZ. So we had a Union Hanger, and I think that was a Y Normal summon that we Book of Moon, so we can't get the Z equipped. We have two set. Oh my gosh, we're starting with a Kaiku and a Nudoria. Pretty strong start for Ron. There goes the Y, and we're going to see if we can swing him for 12. We might have like a Union Scramble set, maybe a Book of Moon set that we don't want to necessarily use right now. Okay, we have another Y, so we're going to be able to get the Hanger's effect to get a, a Z. That's a 2100 attack Y, which can take down Kaiku, which is a pretty good hit. Yeah, difference of 300, and that goes away. Parasite on Y. Thinking here. So we, we could book a moon here, but we have to lose our Z. Book a moon is a good option, but Z goes to grave. Yeah, it's, I think it's going to be worth the risk. Or it's worth the loss of Z to make sure that the Parasite doesn't happen. We do get the shuffle from Ron. It's going to put it back in the deck. But that Parasite is going from hand to grave, so no moth opportunity there. Night Beam on the back row, sure. Hits the full. Ooh, Foolish Burial Bluff. That's not a scramble. Thought I was going to be a scramble there. All right, we have Breaker with a counter into battle phase. Over the 1600 defense Y. And we're going to swing for 12. We're going to get a couple 1200, 1200 uh, hits in here. Versus down to 16. What resources do we have? We have three cards in hand, and we have Ys and Zs in the grave. So we can Union Combo into. Uh, we could Union Combo into YZ. If we find another Y, we can use Hanger's effect. YZ's effect will be drop a card to pop a set monster, which Ron doesn't have. We're going to Hanger for Hanger. Okay, we're getting our third Y out here, and we're going to be able to get Z out. Oh, we're getting Z, actually. Okay. Oh, we have X in the hand. Interesting. We're going for XYZ. Oh, I see. You want to have Z in the grave. So we're going for XYZ, and we're going to drop stuff, I think. Definitely for Nudoria. No battle damage this turn. Yep, dropping Z for Nudoria, sure. No battle damage this turn. So, yeah, it, it makes sense to clear over this. It's better than dropping a card. No battle damage. That's fine. Versus at 16. Ron's still pretty strong. He just got hit over Kaiku early, but we really just need a Parasite here. Because, we're, well, this is before side, so we need Defusion. But that's after side. Ooh, just a set and a pass. And XYZ is going to be able to blow that back row right up. But Ron still has primary skill effects. So if we get a Parasite, that's going to be a good call. Effective XYZ. Oh my gosh, we're playing with Night Assailants. And you hit a Night Beam Bluff. Sure. And normal summon next set. That's super, super damage. I think this is game. Yeah. Ooh. Very dominant first game for Mercis.
Ron was citing in all of his defusions and his lost wins, or uh, probably just defusions. Ursus, maybe you put in some more car Cosmic Cyclones here for the uh, Parasite, but there's really not much wiggle room. Uh, Ursus gave himself the wiggle room. It looks like he could kind of switch out the Knight Assailants if he doesn't feel like they're working too well. Or it gives him kind of that pocket of uh, th that couple of cards you can switch out for a different engine or a different uh, angle you're going for. Maybe something like Cosmic Cyclone, something specific to the deck you're playing against. But we have Ursus going first here, and we do have a Hanger Opener. The Union Player, it's nice to go first because this doesn't get disrupted by Cosmic Cyclone. So we have Y Dragon, that's your normal summon, and Z equipped from deck. Two sets and a pass. It's one of the best, aside from the Fused from YZ with a Scramble set preemptively, that's like the best opener that the Union Player can have. Typically, you'd see Ursus fuse this off if he had Scramble already in the set because then it's like you have it right away. But uh, maybe he doesn't, or maybe he does, and it's just a little mix. T-set pass from Ron. Okay. Waiting for the right components. Cosmic Cyclone end phase. Ursus going down to 3,000, hitting that back row. That's, yeah, that's uh, Book of Moon. So there's the side. I bet you Ursus... I don't know if he had it in the main deck, but I, I bet you if there was anything he took out, he took out Night of Silence for Cosmics. The Natty Fuse for YZ. And now we do have a set, so we might as well pop it. This was not Union Combination that fused. Oh, good hit. Maneater Bug. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. That's lethal. That's lethal. Z on to Y is 21. And YZ is 21. And we didn't use Union Combination, so we can take battle damage this turn because it was a Natty Fuse. And just like that, that was the fastest freaking finals I've seen in a month, two months. Earth is taking it very dominantly with XYZ Union over Ron. Wow, that y YZ hitting the Maneater bug is huge. Ron was going to be able to get the shuffle next turn, too. He was definitely going to be able to get the shuffle. Good stuff to Ursus. Wow, that's just back on top. It just shows you that, uh, you know, he can fuck around and play uh, Skull Servants and all that stuff, but then he comes back with Unions or whatever. Let's catch the uh, end of Bronze match. I can't remember the last time we caught the end of a Bronze match because the finals went so fast. So we have Stevie and Hefdeft. Hefdeft was last week's champion playing uh, Gravekeeper, Shadow Reborn. So cool. Such a cool deck. And Stevie playing Moth. Uh, so we have three set and set monster for Hefdap, and we have three set for Stevie. Looks like we're going right into game three. It's already one and one. It's amazing that the Gravekeeper deck can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Moth like this. Sometimes it do be like that. Oh my gosh, good stuff versus. And this is a big bracket too, 11 people? That's a, uh, was that a $55 pot? Of course, the pot can uh, increase with any additional sub. Any sub adds $3 to the pot. But a $55 pot, so you, you take a good chunk of that. Cannon Holder and Chief. I love Chief. I always use Chief in, in uh, Gravekeepers. Like, why not? You just, like, get stuff back. So Chief comes in. You tribute. You get Cannon Holder back. Book of Moon on Chief. We get 1,400 in with Cannon Holder. That's going to go through. And it's just, like, a, such a scary field for Heptaf. Because you know that back row Parasite on Cannon Holder. Okay, that's where it ends. Well, maybe Cosmic Cyclone. But, like, you know that back row is full. Like, Rite of Spirit, Wheel, Zoma. I do enjoy the splurge money I get from this. Yeah, you can uh, you can use it to uh, uh, get some glitch energy. I lost the guy that won. Guess I'm going to lose. It's the best way to do it. Yeah. Once you get, like, honestly, guys, for the showdown, you make it to round two, you are in the, you are through the ringer. All right? Like, anything can happen in a TCG. There's a good amount of luck into drawing your, you know, just drawing your hand. But you are in the frickin' ringer after, like, round two. That's why they call it a showdown. This is, like, pretty intense. This is a great way to com uh, prepare for competitive. Same with the Winnebox. It goes on Speed Duel League. Or, uh, yeah, Speed Duel League does the Winnebox every month, obviously. Those are, you're guaranteed to play at least six rounds there. So it's a little better than the weekly showdown. Although, if you went, if you entered every showdown, you'd be playing at least four times if you were terrible. I don't know. Anyway. Either way, Speed Duel League is a great way to prepare competitively for these YCSs that we're going to continue to see remote because, obviously, Pasadena was canceled. Stuff's getting canceled. Everyone has COVID. Oh, shoot. YouTube doesn't want me to say that. They're going to demonetize me. Uh, Lost Wind. Okay. What, uh, what just happened here? <laughs> Curse, uh, 
was so caught up in that string of words that I was saying that I did not uh, catch what's happening. Lost Wind. There should only be one target of Lost Wind because I think... Oh no, was Chief normal summon? Oh no, Cannon Holder was special summon because uh, of Chief. You played the main event? I missed it entirely. I, uh, I just like had stuff going on. And uh, people wanted to watch the Bills game. And I, I saw that there wasn't going to be a main event, so I didn't do it. Although I still want a couple more mats. Yeah, so Cannon Holder is the target of Lost Wind. <clears throat> uh, which is going to half its... Uh, Okay, whatever. So Cannon Holder's effect is, is, is nothing. And its attack is halved. Obviously, Hepdef's not going to attack with that. Double Nightmare Wheel. We have a Zoma in the end phase. And it's looking pretty scary for Stevie at 600. The main event went from 10 a.m. to 2.30. Oh, my God. I think that the main event's in uh, PST, Pacific Time, which is three hours behind me. So, like, I remember, I think Tetra played, like, the last main event. But it, like... Obviously, it went from, like, 5 p.m. to, like, 5 a.m. for him or something like that. All right. Have to have taken it over uh, over Stevie for third with uh, Gravekeeper Shadow Oh, I'm so excited I get to put that in the uh, thumbnail for third. Good stuff. All right, so what do we have? First place, XYZ Union. Second place, Moth. Third place, Shadow Reborn, Gravekeeper. It's always nice to have, like, kind of the X-Factor, like, deck. Like, uh, what, last week it was Amazonist, two weeks ago it was Apprentice Monarch Burn, or not even Monarch, just Apprentice Burn. So it's great to have, like, kind of one of those decks sticking out that's like, see, anything can really make it if you try hard enough. Or if you're just a good duelist and you just get the right calls and the right cards. So, uh, all right, let's go back to this screen. I was going to run the ad again, but I won't because the finals video is its own thing. But I appreciate everybody for coming out. Uh, yeah, 11 people. Good stuff. Good stuff to Ursus Heftaf. And uh, and Ron, those guys are back on top. Appreciate the support, guys. I think that we had a good night. Did we? Wow, 11 people, and we were still under two hours. That's fantastic. Let's see if I got anybody to raid for you guys. Uh, but probably not. Let's see. Oh, no. I don't have anybody to raid. But, um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. XYZ is meant to kill slower decks and burn. This wheel XYZ, <laughs> yeah. This week XYZ, don't let me burn, yeah. I don't know. I, I never had a problem with, like, the wheel Zoma kind of burn stuff, but I can see how it, it bothers people. Um, but it clearly does not win alone. Like, you really need... You need that Moth Engine, or you need something else. You need some other factor. Like, the Cannon Holder thing, that's awesome. <clears throat> All right, guys. I'm going to call it here. Um... Yeah, I feel like there was something else I was going to say, but I don't think so. Fods will be up this week sometime. This was a holiday for me today, so we're just chilling. Um, I do plan on doing, like, more Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. So I really do <clears throat> have, like, five or six videos that just need to be edited, and it just hasn't happened. Um, so for now, my, my upload line is just Showdown stuff, but we'll get there. Obviously, I'll get the motivation to kind of get through more stuff going, pumped out, as we get closer to GX in February and stuff like that, but... I appreciate you guys' support as always, and I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic night. I will catch you later. See ya.